Welcome back to Colors of Pakistan. Nothing says color more than a fashion show. Nahid is a school teacher here in Hamilton, and she's prepared something very special for us. Nahid, what are we about to see? Today's program is our children. Uh, they are going to represent the different regions of Pakistan, and they all uh, dressed up according to their regions. Today we have Maida. She is going to tell us about the region of Punjab. Punjab's name comes from two Persian words, Punj meaning five and Ab meaning waters, referring to the five rivers which run through the province. Punjab is the largest and the most populous province in Pakistan. Lahore has traditionally been the capital of Punjab for thousands of years. It is Punjab's main culture, historical, administrative and economic center. It is the second largest city in Pakistan. I noticed that you're covering your hair. Is this part of the outfit? Um, not necessarily. It's just, um, it's religion based, not exactly province based. So it's, some people wear it and some don't on their own choice. Now, Zainab is going to tell us about the uh, region of Sin. Traveling around Sin is a culture adventure full of fascinating discoveries, history, and a natural beauty. Sin is the second largest province in Pakistan. Sin's capital is Karachi, which means the city of lightning. Karachi has lots of tourist sites for people all around the world. The tomb of Qadir Azam, who is the founder of Pakistan, is located in Karachi. Nahid, how is this unique to Sindh? This is, in, in Sindh, usually the women, they like to wear a more glossy jewelry and embroidered cloth. And then they wear this special hat, which is made with hand embroidered. And it's really hard work. The women, they do by hand. She has these dots on her chin and her temples. How is this significant? This is especially significant of the, their region. And you can recognize that these people belongs to the Sindh province. Is this something that all the young girls would wear? Uh, not in the modern days, but olden days and traditional. When they dress up in traditional clothes, they, they put these dots. Is this something you'd wear in Hamilton? Um, I don't think so, because it's really, like, too much. Thank you. Alina is going to tell us about the region of Balochistan. Balochistan is the beauty of Pakistan. It is the largest province of Pakistan, approximately 44% of the land mass. The national gas all over from Pakistan comes from Balochistan. Did you know that the world's largest mammal, called Balochitherium, that ever walked the face of Earth used to live in Balochistan? Yes, that is true. Today, Alina, she dressed up in special, traditional blochi clothing. She, you can see that her uh, dress is uh, similar to the uh, province of Sindh, but the style is different. The dress, uh, you can see the jewelry is different than, um, uh, than uh, province of Sindh. She's wearing a big hoop earrings, and the embroidery is made by hand. It's, uh, it's made with the small the glass. And in this region, they have a very different, unique way of wearing their scarves. Yes, this is a modern way of yeah. wearing the scarf. Thank you. Isa is going to tell us about the region of Khyber Pakhtunwa. The main ethnic group in the country is the Pashtuns, and the principal language is Pashto. Um, one of Khyber Pakhtunwa's most popular cities is Peshawar, which is one of the most oldest living cities in the world. And the University of Peshawar is also the biggest university in the province. Many women and men have graduated from there and have become doctors, pilots, scientists, nurses, etc. Now, he, this outfit is more colorful than the rest. Yes, she is dressed up like a young girl, like a teenage girl. They chose the bright uh, colors. You can see her hairstyle, her, um, her earring. And uh, this is a traditional, and she's wearing a churidar pajama. That's different than other province. That's the big difference than other, and she's wearing a dupatta. And uh, she's totally dressed up like a Pashtun girl. Her hair is actually very different with the two braids, and she doesn't have the scarf attached. No, because in modern days, nowadays, the, some girls, they wear, cover their head, and most of them, they don't. Okay. How do you feel in this? Um, I feel nice, feel proud, and it's pretty comfy too. It's not tight. Thank you. Now, Safa is going to tell us about the region of Gilgad, Gilgad and she's going to t give us the information about that region. Gilgad, Baltistan is located in the northern part of Pakistan. It is the fifth province in Pakistan. 
Nature has given Gilgit with perfect beauty, high peaks, snowy mountains, fresh water lakes, and lush green meadows. At the same time, this area is also blessed with unlimited and heavy deposits of precious and semi-precious stones and metals. Did you know that the, this region includes three of the world's largest glaciers? There is the Baltoro Glacier, the Biafo Glacier, and the Baturo Glacier. K2 is the second highest mountain in the world, and it is in Gilgit. K2 is on the border between China and Pakistan. K2, it is harder to climb K2 from the Chinese side. There are other mountains in Gilgit, such as Nanga Parbat, ninth highest in the world, Raka Pashi, the 27th highest in the world, Dharan, the most dangerous mountain in Pakistan, and many more. Many glaciers can be seen while traveling on the highway, such as Minapin Glacier, Vulcan Glacier, Basu Glacier and Kanjurab Glacier. As you can see, Gilgit is a beautiful place because of the mountains, the glaciers, the meadows, and lakes. Go visit it sometime. Thank you, Safa, for uh, creating a beautiful picture of Gilgit. Now, he, she is from a region of mountains. How is that reflected in her clothing? You can see her dress is, um, the embroidery is really different than other provinces. It's a cross-stitch needlework. She is wearing a choker, and that represents her regions, uh, uh, represent her, uh, the Gilgit region. And you can see her jewelry, hairstyle, and her, the uh, style of her dress. And you can see the different, uh, different style of her trouser and the scarf. Would this not be warm enough for the region? Uh, no, the Gilgit is really cold area. It's a mountain. It's, the weather is all year. It's a cold. Unlike the other outfits, she's got a choker on. How is that significant to this region? They're the girl. This is the, actually the latest fashion, uh, the choker style. Nahid, thank you so much for preparing that beautiful fashion show for us. Hope you've enjoyed the colors of Pakistan. See you again next time on South Asian Living.